yo, I'm Lizard Chase. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, next gen update on PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave it a like. Let me know down in the comments. And also, if you haven't yet, please make sure you're subscribed. It helps me out a whole lot. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's do this. All right, guys. So we got the cat, the uh, enhanced cat uh, school gear. Uh, we're going to continue on the day on our journey. Uh, let's go see Dandelion and Zoltan. Two quests over here. Do not get it. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Uh... Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is. I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. Ah. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Hmm. Gwent, you say? Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Sure. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. Has a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. All right, let's go. Witcher. It even sounds proud. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside and in hot water. Got to find another way in.
must be Zed. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Tiana from the Square Tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. They were looking for something. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. I'm so. Mm. What? Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we're... Not your concern. Back to your post. <laughs> Regards from Siggy Ruven. Ah. Driscoll. They ought to never let your kind in, Novigrad. Hey, free boy. What do I got to do? Zoltan? Get out. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, Everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. Mm. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble. And any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Whore Son Junior. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Nah, I know a little bit about that. Mm. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Mm. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. 
Let's play. Oof. That's bad. There we go. Seems I won. A right fucking shock given your frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. Thank you. You can do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing the shame a good dandelion for that. Huh. You might skim something off your mate Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Zoltan. Get out! Those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. Uh. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. 
Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. All right. Let us live, eh? Oh, is he down? Ah. It's not safe to go out in the street. How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? <laughs> sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and... Uh... Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! Okay. See, Ravi's on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play.
use this. Okay, he's got a clear day. Should be fine. I win. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate, and sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won! So, now we'll play something else. I'll rip your mug off, you two! Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array mm -mm. you might No, like. it's mine. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go back, go back. There he is. I am here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent. Now we've just Caesar bills in to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Hmm. Said Caesar never sell Fringilla. But <laughs> don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. Ah, okay. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivy, she's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? 
Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. Come on in. So what the zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme-flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time... Geralt? Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Happen to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> a witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Belton had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawers open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Hmm. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Classic. Yep. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Oh, wow. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. A set of Aranahid's necklace. What is the real thing? Portrait of Emperor Amir, tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim de Vet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. What a collection. Ah, here's Fringilla. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Yeah, maybe... Maybe someone else. Zoltan, time we were on our way. 
Uh, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, Ooh, just really? a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him. And you two, get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Hop to Poppy! Ever fight a Witcher? <sighs> <sighs> Geralt of seems to me I've Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. A little oh, bit. By the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rido's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. No. Uh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, girls. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. The fire will cleanse them all. Oh, I can't wait. Uh-oh. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Oh, carry him! Stop walking into his soul! Oh, Go on, Geralt! After him! I'd only slow you down. Yep, that's what I was doing. Up the ladder. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Now I wanna... There we go. Something off that way. All from that loop does out. What? Can't understand a word. Is that a thing? Something close? 
Oh! Oh! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Oh yeah, he's running. Oh, he went up. I could have sworn you went up. I guess he went down. Drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No, no. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Take the cards. Kind of curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent. I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Awesome. Watch it, Tram. Novigrad's not your stomping ground. Did to me earlier two guys rose. What am I to do but... now? Is this truly what you want? want to, to be a purveyor of cheap whores and watered down wine? Hey! Mm. I can't Mind control what I inherit. For you to control what you do with it. I know. Well, you know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, oh. you're always you are considering. One. You can see it in your face. If there's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Yeah. <laughs> save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekamajigs, maybe Ekema you can jigs. help a little friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and I remember. Oh, mm. How could you forget? Hey, and oh. this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend's to loan him some coin. True. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? <laughs> I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has yeah, a merchant holy for cow. a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. 
and Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. Uh -huh. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, man. All right. I mean, if that's so eager. What? That one. Uh, what's he schemed up this time? Oh, pity. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Mm. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. Oh my. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Voilà. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. Oh. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Oh, mm -hmm. eh, you know, I'll, I'll give it to him. This could actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> On guard! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought. 
pathetic. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Jeez. <laughs> I probably should have just let Deadline take me out right then and there. I don't know if that would have been game over. <laughs> oh, man. What a character. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peached. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor, but that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt. You've known him longer. Say something. Uh... You're both stage artists, and cabaret is a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same dandelion? Yeah. Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. True. And he's never missed a performance. True. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Alright. Uh -oh. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? 
it's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio, you'd visit her often. Often. I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your. I never mix business and pleasure. Really? The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Damn it. Now where would she Not be? here. Dialogue any other. Cheap wines. Ah, the key. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say coin? Yeah. And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose in that case. I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. No, I didn't. No, it was, yeah. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Ugh. Those children. Uh-oh. Bandits. Not good. Hmm.
Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! I need a... I can't pull out my swords? You regret this, mutant. You'll never learn. I guess we didn't want to get blood all over the place, you know. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate. Really? Losing his last crowns at the races! See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. All right. Off on another uh, adventure for Blacker. Okay. Gotta go far away. Gods and men, dumb struck with awe. Well, you Rotlick. Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. To care of that. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. Mm-hmm. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son, Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. Lots One of debt money. More or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Ooh, uh, not good. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pulp. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. All right. I don't like horse racing, but... Easy. 
thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Mm -hmm. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Excellent. Oh, wow. We start in G major. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Okay. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Gladly. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Nope. It's true. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Uh, dandelion. <laughs> That's kind of your MO, dude. But I guess he's changed. She's late. Now that he's older. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Yes, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. Beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Oh, no.
So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to it's ask you another thing. time for a favor. witcher. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Nope. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Mm, Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Mm. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morningstar, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Mm. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Gotcha. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. Alright, quests. Cardinal Sin, that's it. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idealists, ruining the market for us. Ah. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Sugarcoating. Yeah. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. No. Sure you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Let's go, guy.
Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Which one it is. Human. Wrong body type. It's this one. Nope, not. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Dwarf. That's got to be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. Ah, uh, that's right. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Not good. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ooh. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. But why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched, but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So, either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. 
An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace? Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Mm, the zoogle again. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot, the ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. Yes, please, Geralt. What the motive might have been. Sorry, rather not share my conclusions just yet. I understand. For the good of the investigation. Will you at least share what you intend to do? It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. Ah. I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Uh-oh. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? 
It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Okay. Strange. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. Yeah. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Mm. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist... The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. Mm. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. All right, let's go investigate the alley. She waves to me. Best stay out. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I. How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. Mm. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Ouch. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do yeah. You mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Really? Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Oh, okay, that's too far. Talk. What did you find on him? I, I uh, had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment. That <laughs> I wipe off the right inner sill. It is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given oh. this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? 
We short of wenches in this town. <coughs> Oi, fucking hell! What was that for? For everything. Hmm. Have a hard Many time finding you work here. Watch out. Hey. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sick me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, Kim! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit you stupid much, lie down. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. <laughs> Better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled mm. his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm, okay. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Or do they care about some dwarf? Gotcha. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Why, oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Mm. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish lag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just be aware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Can I not examine this? something heavy statues or a corpse mind if I go inside the workshop I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian but I'll open it for you if you want More 
more blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I hadn't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Alright, to the alleyway. I met you, mate. Back there in Loch <coughs> <coughs> Is this necessary? Oof. On the road all day and now... Here. Your... Cram it, arse white. What? Hey, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Okay. Watch it, Tran. Hey, no regrets, not your stomping ground. Human. Priscilla's. A brazier. This time of year. Sis. That him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he... Come on! Son of a whore! Blow Hell down! Uh. Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. Okay. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It <laughs> mattered. I was looking to give up whoring, pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. I felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. 
Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. This stinks of Awful the eternal pile. fire. Oh, Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Another concerned citizen sermon. Okay. This is some lunatic who's all about the eternal want? fire. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Alright, back to the corner. Ah, youth these days. Air brained, all of them. I have many suspicions about uh you made back It's gotta be someone with the uh with the church. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Von Gratz told me all about you. Ah, doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful, or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something, so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Yeah, that's what How I'm old thinking. Von Gratz? 50? 60? 53, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment? Made of human skin? A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Oh, a Vagelbud. Yes. He even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her. Now. Yep. We gotta go. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can- Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. 
I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. Mm -hmm. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd mm. been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hyrule Square. Uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Yeah. Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. God, no. What now, you piece of hell? Spread out, murderous Scalia! There he is! Get him! Die, mutants! <laughs> Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. Jeez. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Yep. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Yeah, whole Won't place. Get away this time. We can go. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Uh, don't See care. Face. Wanna dip your dingle? Oh, jeez. Just a bit more, and I'll drop this job. I'd give you a discount. <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb. Ah, it's him. I so dislike being disturbed. 
I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. What a maniac. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... But that, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Uh... Said you were busy. That you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, no, he's gotta die. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Ooh. your head from my saddle run out of formaldehyde i underestimated you that's why i look so young you almost caught me in flagrante delicto now you've seen through my bluff with nathaniel although You've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Makes sense. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. That... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Yeah. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Tortured logic. Yet logic, nonetheless. I'm glad you perceived that, at least. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebiritz for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm hmm But I'm pretty good with a sword. Yep. Pretty good. Might not cut it. Alright, inventory time. I need my enhanced vampire oil. 
and Quinn. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witcher's way. Yep. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockamon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. I hope so. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. I wish the best for both of them. Oh. Alright, guys. So, we did a whole lot with Zoltan and then Dandelion. Hopefully, Priscilla will be get better. Hopefully she'll sing again. Uh, one of my favorite songs in all of video games is the uh, is the one that she sings that we heard earlier. Um, the lilac and gooseberries. The you know the the you know stormy. I can't. The one that's about Gerald and Jennifer. I really like that song a lot. I've actually listened to it quite a, quite a bit uh, when driving. I've I've got the Witcher soundtrack. Uh, I've been I've been listening to it a lot since I've started playing. Anyways, I'm really tired. And uh as of recording this, it's actually it's actually the last day of the year. It's the last day of twenty twenty two. So uh yeah, tomorrow's uh start of twenty twenty three. I know you guys will see this, you know, about a week later. Um but anyways guys, I hope you all had a wonderful new year. Um, stay safe out there. 2023 is going to be good. I'm excited to see everything that will happen in 2023. Um, I know this is a little bit late because <laughs> this video is coming out like a week, a week after new year's. Um, but I just want to say, I, I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday and a good new year's. Um, that's going to be for me. If you guys had fun watching, please make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments if you haven't yet. Please make sure you are subscribed. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, also, I want to say uh, because of you guys and all the support and everything, I was able to meet my goal. And, you know, uh, for subscribers, uh, 250 subscribers by the end of the year. And I met that. So thank you guys. It means a lot to me. Thank you. So 2023 is going to be a great year. Got a lot planned. A lot of awesome games coming out this year. So look forward to, you know, playing all those. And, uh, of course, you know, continuing The Witcher. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Peace.